now this is the second question generate a grammar for this language a i b n c n where n should be greater than equal to 1 and i should be greater than equal to 0 that means there must be at least one b and at least one c that means this is the string for at least one b and at least one c and a can be present or a cannot be present because i can be zero also so in this case n is 2 b raised to the power 2 c raised to the power 2 so we got b b c c here i is 1 and n is also 1 i is 1 so only 1 a n is also 1 so 1 b and 1 c here i is 2 and n is 1 i is 2 therefore 2 a's and 1 b 1 c because n is 1 here i is equals to 3 i is equals to 3 and n is equals to 4 3 i is equals to c therefore 3 a's and n is equals to 4 therefore 4 b's and 4 c so these kind of strings will be produced by this language so we have concluded two points here for generating our grammar if a exists in the string this is the case when a is existing if a exists in the string then equal number of b and c exist after a here b and c are one each so equal number of b and c exist here also 4b and 4c exist here also 1b 1c exist if a exists in the string then equal number of b and c exist after a such that all b's are together and all c's are together that means string cannot be like this a a b c b c b c all the b's must be together this kind 4 b's are together 4 c's are together so i hope first point is clear second point is if a does not exist this is the case when a is not existing in the string then equal number of b and c exist such that all b's are together and all c's are together 1b 1c b's are together c's are together 2b 2c's 2b's are together and 2c's are together so i hope both the points are clear to you now for generating the grammar first our major motive is to generate the production rules that production rules will determine these strings so let's generate first production rule can be s derives a a capital a non-terminal a and this a can be replaced using b c or b capital a c why we have chosen this kind of production rule consider we have to generate uh, this string b b c c b b c c then we use the start symbol production a and this a can be replaced using b a c b a c now this a can be replaced using b c b and this a is replaced using b c and 1 c is here so b b c c string is generated now if we want a string like this b b b c c c s derives capital a this capital a can be replaced using this production a derives b a c so we write here b capital a c and this a can be further replaced using this a derives b a c so in place of this a we write b a c and this b is copied as it is this c is also copied as it is now this a can be replaced using b c normal b b b c and two c's so this string is also generated so a derives b a c can generate strings like any number of b c's in the between two b and c so i hope this production rule is clear to you and a derives b c will terminate the string here we needed one b and one c more so we terminated this using b and c these are both the terminals now strings are of these kind also we have generated the production rule for the strings of this kind now how will these strings will be produced we need one a in the starting of every string which is of this kind suppose if we substitute here a then string will become abc which is this string suppose we substitute here 
a then this will become a b b c c then also it will become of this kind that means there must be a production rule that can also place a in the starting of every string so s derives small a s this production rule can be used to put any number of a's before every b and c suppose consider this string double a b c double a b c then using this production rule s derives a s one a we have got now we want one more a so this s is further replaced using this production only so s derives a s and this a is as it is a a s we have got two a's now we have to put b c so for this s using this production rule we can go like this a a capital a and this capital a can be replaced using b c a a b c so i hope this production rule is also clear to you let's take one more example of generating this string that is triple a four b's and four c's now first use this s derives a s again in this s substitute this production a a s again in this s substitute production a a a s we have got three a's now we want four b's and four c's so that means first from s we have to go to this a using this production s derives a a a a and capital a now using this capital a we will substitute b a c a a a b a c one b and one c we have got now in the between of two b and c we have to insert three b and three c's so again in this a substitute b a c b a c and one b is already here c is already here and three a's are already here now two b's we have got similarly again in this a we will substitute b a c then we will get three b's a's and three c's a a a now we want to terminate with one bc in between so we can use this production a derives bc and we will get a a a b b b b c c c c so this string is also produced so to put any number of a's in the starting of any number of b's and c's we use this production and b and c are inserted using these two production rules so this is our grammar so let's write the formal definition of grammar here so grammar is non terminals used are capital s and capital a s and a terminals used are small b small c and small a that means a b c start symbol is our s and production rules are s derives capital a or it can derive small a along with s and the production rule for a is a derives b c or b capital a c this is our grammar non terminal terminal start symbol production rule n t s p so i hope this question is clear to you now let's consider one more example i hope this example was clear to you in my next video we will study about same kind of another example study that also very well and if you have any doubts you can comment in the comment section or just drop an email at the email address mentioned in the description of the video don't forget to like and share the video and also if you have not subscribed to our channel yet please hit the subscribe button also thank you